Uh, Rob, look, I'm tired. The picture's not good because there's no light in here. And with light, the picture's excellent. Now, the fucking sound. When I record off the Windows Media Player, the sound is okay. But if I record someone's video, uh, you, uh, one of your videos, the sound is artificial and it tends to boom. You don't get the true deep bass. But I did that shadows track, didn't I? Near for and the sound was great because it was off the disc and I'm going I'm to do this now. Now my, my, my neighbour who moans will be in bed and her bedroom is not the other side of that wall so she won't hear this. And uh, this is just a snatch. Tonto's expanding headband and a track called Jet Sex. I'm going to put the uh, camera down near the speaker. Yeah, it's a terrible picture, I know, but that's because I, I, uh, I haven't put a big light on. And uh, I bought this final album many years ago when I was a member of the Nottingham Astronomical Society. And uh, I wanted it on compact disc. And at the record shop in Glastonbury, this is two sound engineers, one of them, Malcolm Cecil and Robert M uh, M Mogolov or something like that. Well, is it, what did I just say, Robert Cecil? Yeah, well, his son was working in the Gothic Image record shop in Glastonbury. And I told him I bought his father's final album. I said, uh, I've always loved it. Because it's not music, it's sound. It's just sounds. They used analogue synthesizers. And they're still recording with analogue. Of course, everybody knows it's digital. And uh, what's the name's son said that he would put the album on a disc for me. So it was put on a disc with his father's consent and I've got the compact disc somewhere and of course I'll put it into my Windows Media Library and I'm going to play a bit of Jet Sex now <coughs> I'll put the camera right down near the speaker <sighs> right here we go It goes on like that all the way through. But I'm going to turn it off now because I don't want her fucking moaning. And uh, I, I, I'll see what that uh, comes out like. So that's the problem, Rob. Uh, that Nokia was an excellent camera, but this is not so good at. Uh, it's all right recording, as I say, from Windows Media or off a compact disc. I could play the compact disc in the CD player and the sound will be the same. But uh, I always put uh, the discs into my Windows Media Library. So that's it and I'll have another look at it tomorrow. So let me go to fucking bed. Right, let me stop, stop the video. Right. I'm